hey guys welcome to the testing academy my name is pramod and welcome to the tutorial on the career opportunities as a automation tester in 2020 guys uh, lots of people has been like uh, asking me about it and now i'm ready with a few of the points that i would like to share with you i'm going to share with you what are the common traits of automation tester nowadays especially in 2020 why you should why automation testing is in demand and why auto, you should choose your automation testing and how to start your career as a automation tester even if you are a college or you just uh, finish your college and all or even if you are a manual tester you want to switch from manual to automation these are the things exactly which are going to help you so let's get started all right all right so guys the first thing first first we need to understand that what are the common traits of an automation tester how means i have like nearly around 7 uh, 8 7 or 8 years experience now and so i believe i can share some of my views on what how a common or you can say a automation tester looks like right so uh, let me let me expand this one so these are the points so well, what is expected from a automation tester especially so automation tester is a person who basically if you go through this uh, let me pull up my pen which can which is black it's a person who writes the code and the scripts to verify the expected and the actual result for a web or mobile application right so common thing is that uh, it is expected from a automation tester is that he should know the programming language right so right now in 2020 especially java javascript and python though these three languages are very much important to learn especially as a automation tester i will highly recommend you to you should know the java first and after that you can learn javascript or python that are again according to your choices but uh you should have a very clear understanding of core java so that you can write the code or a scripts certain scripts to verify the expected and the actual results right and the for most of the points we are dealing with mobile application and web application since most of the time right we have other type of testing like etl database and all but these are like most popular words right so second point here is that selection and identification of test cases automation for existing documentation so it is expected that if we have any kind of a uh, brd or a business requirement document available then you he should able to uh, basically uh, identify those test cases right uh, now this is the important point is that uh, automation tester it is expected that he can configure the test environment where the jenkins machines are there how the automation frameworks is looked like for example if we are dealing with java based test automation framework he should know about the java selenium web driver test ng which is a test framework and little bit about the jenkins and ci cd pipeline he should be aware of all the things this is expected from automation tester uh he should be able to create a automation plan which means basically means what need to be tested and what uh and how it's need to be tested uh he means uh it is expected from a automation tester that he should able to check the correctness of the application right most of the time what is expected from uh the automa- uh, automation tester is that uh, organizing monitoring defect management process handling right creating enhancing debugging and running the test cases so it's all about uh, you can say most of the things revolves around creation stlc life cycle right see we have automation life cycle also like right? uh, we are planning certain things that what needs to be automated then how need to be automated and then we are automating and bug cycles these are the things that basically the, are the common traits of a automation tester that you need to understand it right so this is a typical typical uh, automation traits look like right let me undo this right so uh, now the question is that why automation testing means if you are a, a beginner who just starting out your career in automation testing or even even if you are even if you are a manual tester you want to switch from manual to automation so why you should move it and why it is in demand right now because the point here is that uh, if you look around for the global testing uh, data uh, that average salary if we talk about especially with the uh, usa market and all average salary for automation tester is 90000 dollars right that is where Uh, means uh, it's very very high right according to me if uh, if you are comparing with dev don't compare with dev but definitely if you compare with manual tester it is very high but it may vary in asian countries because asian countries are uh, have a uh, different uh, average 
right you can go to payscale.com and type automation testing in your area especially in, if you are uh, belong to uh, any kind of asian one uh, you can get the details right uh, automation tester basically they save lots of manual efforts take prepare test scripts they basically take care of your test automation framework they make it more reliable right they can uh, provide more reliable or defect free builds right regression scenario can be covered automated and that can save lots of manual efforts basically the automation roi is important people industries are moving towards the automation roi because their regression suits are keeps on coming coming because they have added lots of different different features right so that's what actually increasing the demand of automation testers they need more automation testers because uh, their regression suit suite is basically increasing and it's has to be automated because automation testing is the only scalable solution they have because they have released lots of lots of re releases and features so if they want to tweak anything or they want to release a new feature then the creation impact will be high and if it is not automated and if they are falls under the manual efforts then they will have to pay very very large amount to perform a manual testing for that thing right so that has to be automated so automation roi in a longer run is very beneficial I'm going to show you the automation ROI tutorial in a bit, uh, in a next tutorial probably, where we have discussed about if we target for one to three years of manual efforts versus the automation ROI, then we have a flat curve for automation one and manual efforts which keeps on increasing. Right. So these, so that's why I believe that automation testing is very much uh, in demand still in 2020. Right. Uh, we are means lots of people are going to get uh, basically. Uh, into the automation testing related to SDAX, right? Software developer in tax, something like STE, software testing engineers, something like this. Right. Let's move on to the imp very important question, which is how to start a career, especially in automation testing, right? So this is the point. It's going to look like a big one, but trust me, guys, it's easy. So the programming language uh, we are discussing about. So let me move Java first. Java. You should be aware about the core Java concepts and Selenium concepts. For core Java, you can take certain Udemy courses. I have in the previous videos discussed about lots of Udemy courses that I encourage, especially if you wanted to learn about it. Uh, you can learn about the Selenium Java concepts. Uh, after that, you can learn JavaScript, Python, HTML, CSS. You should have a basics of it. Regarding automation frameworks, you can learn TestNG. Cybrus is important one right now replacing completely selenium and uh, if you want to learn about the cybers go to cyberstutorial.com i have created a simple course that can help you especially with the big nerds level and we have certain uh, advanced live projects also in the cyberstutorial.com go to that one protector you can learn about it test cafe cucumber test projects these are automation frameworks which definitely you need to learn as an automation tester if you're starting out you can take certain tutorials around it uh, Another skill that automation tester is that concepts of manual testing. Make sure you are well versed with the black box testing, white box testing, and STLC like creation of test plan, test scenario, defect reporting, test cases, and defect life cycle. Similarly, if you talk about the black box testing, you should be aware of the different testing techniques like boundary value, state transition, equivalence partition, and descent table. All these things related to black box testing, especially I have covered in my video tutorials, uh, or I'm going to link them into the description. You can check it out those videos if you are not aware of that. Toolset, Selenium, and again, Selenium and UFT are again important. UFT still now, still people use it extensively in the large organizations. Uh, Selenium, again, open source. Most of about 70 80 percent people still use Selenium as an open source and their test automation framework. You need to learn it if you are moving to mobile application testing and all. Go with APM, APM supports iOS, Android, and native and hybrid apps. This is the one tool that can basically give you mobile automation and that can basically will switch you definitely will switch you from your manual to automation, helps you to basically switch from manual to automation. Again, if you talk about the courses, I have listed down four of the courses. Like say for Selenium, you can go to bit.ly Selenium 2020, awesome course. 
Silly for Cybers API testing, go to Cybers and learn API testing.com. Automation classes, the testing academy.com. Sign up there. I gonna uh, you you gonna see lots of different courses that you can learn about it. All right. So that's all about my thoughts on career is automation and especially for the people who are right now just passed out or want to switch from manual to automation testing. Do do check it out the automation testing. Career, it's in demand and it's gonna help you, especially with the things. And uh, these are these are the things that I have discussed. These are the things basically we have talked. Right. I hope you have find certain value in this video. If you do, please don't forget to like this video, share this video, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Thanks a lot for watching till now. See you in the next video.